Thank you so much, Eliana. We really appreciate your incredible support. Our next speaker is Congressman Ted Poe of Texas. So join me in welcoming Congressman Poe. Good afternoon. Thank you all for having me here. I am Congressman Ted Poe from the great state of Texas. And it's an honor to be here today and stand before you. I know that I stand in the presence of those who have been put through some of the worst tragedies imaginable. I have personally heard your stories that testify to the strength of your human courage. You are truly heroes in the truest sense of the word. The communist regime in Beijing has done all it can to crush your spirit. They systematically burned and destroyed your books. They've told lies about you in the state-controlled media. Local officials threatened to and then did take away your right to work, your jobs. Then they tried to re-educate you with psychological torture. Party leadership established an office whose sole mission was to get rid of you. Thousands of you, your friends and family members, have been arrested, starved, tortured, and abused by the communist Chinese. The communists have even killed many of your family members and your friends. Yet despite all of this, the Falun Gong movement persists. It does not stop. You have persevered, refusing to give in, refusing to give up. You see what Beijing does not understand that there is a funny thing about the human spirit. You can do what you want to a person. You can take away their job, take away their family, try to take away their freedom. But the human spirit is one thing that no government can take away from anyone, including the falling dawn. The human spirit is down in your soul. It's in your individual spirit. And the human spirit has a way of enduring even in the hardest of all circumstances. And your own personal experiences testify to this. It's now been 13 years since the Chinese government started to try to eradicate the Falun Gong. But the Falun Gong is still practiced by thousands and thousands of people. You never wanted to take over the world. You are not a political movement. You just want to be left alone and have the right to believe whatever you want to believe. That, that my friends, is a basic human right to believe what you want to believe and practice it. And no government has the right to try to steal that from your inner soul. Every human on this earth has that right. It doesn't matter where you're born or what you look like or what language you speak. It's an inalienable right. No government established by man can ever steal the human spirit, the spirit to believe and practice what they wish to practice. And I commend you for not giving in, for not giving up, and continuing to live that dream. The communist regime and its henchmen, they need to go. It's persecution of the Falun Gong that shows it's not concerned about the welfare of the people. It's only concer concerned about control over your mind. And they shall not steal what you believe away from you. Government is designed to serve people. Government is set up to organize a society so people can live freely. All governments are supposed to do that. It institutes the rule of law, establishes order, but it protects the innocent and it protects the right for you to believe whatever you wish to believe. But that's not what the communist government in China does. This government has a different purpose keeping itself in power and control over the people, their lives, and their minds. And it takes whatever measures it seems to take 
and to accomplish those goals. It felt threatened by the fallen gong, so it cracked down on something that they thought threatened the government. The practitioners of the fallen gong are a peaceful movement without political ambitions. But the government didn't see that. The irony is, by the actions, they created a political movement. They couldn't let you be. They could, not, they could have let you practice freely what you believe, and we wouldn't be here today. But now there are protests like this one. Communist government's own abusive practice created a global movement that testifies against the government of communist China and its brutal and vicious nature, nature against the fallen gong. The communist government would like nothing better than if everyone just forgot about you and you forgot about your movement. But that is not going to happen. You are not going away and I commend you for that. Stay in the fight because you see some things are worth fighting for. And personal liberty to believe what you want to believe is one of those things that you should fight for. And I commend you to fight for that. We will not forget those who died because they believe like you do. Those members of the fallen gone whose bodies are throughout the world buried in some cases in unknown graves. We will not forget them. You should not forget them. But liberty will not forget them. Someday the communist government of Beijing will be held accountable for what their actions are. Maybe not today, maybe not the next day, but someday they will be held accountable for their actions. So I commend you that are here in the bedrock and center of democracy and freedom in the world. We stand on the steps of the U.S. Capitol. On the top of the Capitol is a dome, and at the top of that dome is a light that shines. And that light to me means that it is the right of all peoples to shine and have liberty. And I know you believe in the light of liberty that will not steal your soul. And if you believe that, you practice that, I ask you today on these grounds to stand and show that you believe in that liberty and freedom. Stand with me now, if you would, to show that you believe in that liberty and that freedom. And thank you very much for being here.